Yeah. <clears throat> Scott, thrilling game here tonight. Um, how do you sum that one up? Really enjoyed it. I thought we, we were excellent. Um, um, yeah, I thought there was some brilliant football play tonight uh, by ourselves. Um, they come with a strong team as well. Um, and I thought my young team tonight were brilliant. I thought they were outstanding. Um, you know, listen, there's moments where we can do better defensively, which we've spoke about. Um, and we shouldn't have to win a game twice, which I felt we've had two tonight, um, if not three times, you know. So, uh, but no, I'm really proud of my players tonight. They were outstanding. Um, some great goals as well. Um, yeah. But some real good passages of play and intricate passing, which we work on tirelessly, like, you know, on the training ground and, and to see it come to light tonight um, with the team that haven't been playing as many minutes. Um, it's humbling and really, I'm really proud of the team. Yeah, and it was a team, I think we worked out average age of 22 tonight. Brilliant. Yeah, so you, yeah, like you say, you're very proud of that effort and that. Brilliant. Yeah, um, and you made three changes at half time. Was that tactical, was that pre planned? Pre planned, yeah. I yeah. wanted uh, the guys who kind of played in the first half and the guys who come on at half time to share the minutes. Mm. Um, so yeah, it was pre planned, but yeah. Yeah, and it, I think it felt it made a difference. Did you feel it made a difference sort of defensively? Um, no, I think what made a difference defensively was because I went mental at half time at about <laughs> and, uh, and you know I, I come for one or two and showed them a clip um, from from what happened in the first half and said it's, it's unacceptable. You know I, I, we worked tire, tirelessly um, on the training ground about defending the box, and I'm I'm really detailed about how we defend the box, really detailed, and it's very very clear and black and white. It's not even difficult what I'm asking them to do, it's very very simple and we switched off um, on um, one of the goals where we didn't do what I asked them to do regular um, so I was very upset about that and, and I feel sometimes it, the boys at the back have to give the players at the top of the pitch more of a platform to win a game by doing their job properly. Um, but we'll get better at it, um, I'm sure, because I know that they're good lads and, and they do listen to everything I say and they do hang, hang off every word that the coaches say and we work extremely hard on the training ground and I'm sure they'll get better at it. Yeah, and I know you've mentioned the whole team, but particularly Clyde Lolos and um, Jack Rolls, we thought were superb tonight. Just a comment on them. Outstanding a pair yeah. of them, yeah, very, very good. You know, very bright. Um, yeah, very good. I mean, the, the energy that they showed... Um, they're kind of, you know, disciplined to defend as well when we got the ball in terms of pressing at the top of the pitch. Um, yeah, I was pleased with them. I was pleased with them. Yeah, and we saw Travis Johnson in a different role to what Crawley fans would have seen before. Is is that something you've picked up in training that it's a role that you could play in the future? Yeah, I think that we've obviously we've identified Jay Williams to, to you know, to take that role up. Um, and, and he's done it brilliantly, Jay, you know, somebody that we identified in, in the summer and felt that he is a really good defender. He knows how to mark in the box, he knows how to defend the box, but he's also a good footballer as well. So he, he kind of sits in that role really well. And we probably haven't got anybody else at the football club who can potentially do that role. And I know Travis can, because there's one thing Travis can do is defend. Mm. And he can play football. For sure, he can handle the ball, and he, I thought he was good tonight. I thought he, he did it really, really well, and he marked really well in the box. And there was a couple of times where they, they tried to play through. He blocked his man on the halfway line, just knows how to defend. So, yeah, I think he can do that role. And that gives you a few selection headaches for Saturday, does it, with the way they perform tonight? Yeah, but that's what we want. Mm. You know, that's what we want. I'm going to ask the referee on Saturday if we can play more players, you know, because I've, <laughs> I've got so many good players now, you know, and that's what I want. I want it to be a headache. That's, that's a manager's dream in many ways. Mm. Excellent. Thanks, Scott. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Scott, you're back to winning ways now. How key is it now to replicate the outcome of the game in the league against Newport on Saturday? Oh, very important. You know, we want to win every game we play in. It's important that we have a winning mentality no matter how well we play. We, you know, performances are key. Performances are very key, especially when you're possession based like we are. It's important that we keep keep um, kind of playing that way. But results are the most important thing. So yeah, um, you know, we, we're going to be, you know, organising the team to to you know win the game on Saturday against a really good side. You said previously, 
the start of the season and some games afterwards about the finishing. Four goals tonight, three goals on Saturday. How satisfied are you that you're finishing the chances now it's, and going forward you're really improving? Yeah, really satisfying. I think as well, you know, Saturday especially was, we didn't create loads, you know, but we were clinical in three moments, which was pleasing, but we didn't actually, we didn't create loads. We did, our XG would have been quite low on Saturday, but we went and scored three goals away from home. So we'll take that. Um, you know, sometimes that kind of happens. But tonight, you know, we were very aggressive at the top of the pitch. Um, not just in the, the four moments we scored, but I thought we were aggressive at the top of the pitch throughout the night. Um, but yeah, pleased, obviously, um, to be putting the ball over the line because we've, it, it, you know, in the games that we've played, we've hit seven woodworks, you know, posts and, and bars. We've hit, you know, our XGs, I think last week was in the top six of the division. So we're, it, it's, it's always a problem when you're not creating, you know, that's when we've got a problem. But when you're creating and you're getting high numbers XG and you're hitting posts and bars, in a minute it's going to go in and tonight it did. Despite, um, oh, I forgot what I was going to ask that. I'm oh, sorry, never mind. 